what's good guys welcome back to another madden 22 video if you watched my last video you saw me take on noah in the fnf round three 1k tournament um this is now round four i'm gonna be playing alan gibbs you know he won this tournament back to back um times in a row so you know he's the hottest out right now the thing is though this is a non-escape tourney so you know no escape artist in this tournament the past two times he had won he actually beat me i think round two and round three he had escaped so you know I, I feel more confident in this game this right here is a high scoring matchup um two of the best out right now and you know just sit back enjoy the analysis and you know if you do enjoy this video smash that like button comment what you guys want to see next and i got you I'm gonna be grinding this youtube to the end of the year at this point um definitely gonna give me a head start into the madden 23 season and i feel like i got a lot to on you know a lot to grind for you know so got a lot to keep working on and hopefully, you know, I have a very productive end of the year of Madden 22. Let's get in the gameplay. This right here, guys, is a mirror matchup. So we are going to be running the same playbooks on offense and defense. Raiders offense, 4-6 defense. Uh, you guys are definitely going to learn a thing or two in this video. Watch to the end to see the final results and get the most knowledge you can in this game. Right here, guys, we're going to try to get them with a quick hike early. Um, and we, that's what we we're able to do. We hit them with this nice inward zig route. Um, I love that dig return play. It's it's an easy read. You can't really mess up that read. And it's always yards, I feel like. Right here, we're going to go with angle route verticals. And we have our one kind of open early. But, you know, we're just going to throw it away, live for another down. I will say Allen is one of the best defensive players I've played in this year's Madden. And always, he's always really good. He, I would like to say, like, you know, started up this cover one robber meta. Um, I definitely could say I've stolen concepts from him in 3-2-5-Y on offense and defense you know uh like i said we're both running the same thing right here tight end post open i was gonna have the i was gonna have the deep post open towards the end of the play but you know his user was kind of there i said might as well take the open right here guys going with another quick hike and he has a great user we get insta shedded too i mean i have two post ups but it's all good he gets a crazy sack and for some reason you know it's like the third or fourth play and my d linemen are already tired kind of sus if you ask me but you know it's all good just got to keep moving forward move on to the next play right here his nickel corner is on the right side so i know i have numbers to the left we're gonna hit this tight end drag i should have hit it a second earlier but we get very fortunate right there his guy kind of like missed a tackle giving us a you know what ten, five to ten extra yards giving allowing us to get the first down right here we're looking for off tackle left side and we actually get quite a bit of yards um you know i'll, I'll be happy with five yards right there any day of the week right here guys we're gonna run flood and like I said in my last video, if you watched my last video, if you haven't, go check it out. I played no up next. Um, in my last video, I do struggle in the red zone a lot. Um, at least that's what I said. And here's no different. Right here, we are going to make a sus read, honestly. But we actually catch it. Let me know, guys. Is that sus or is that a dot? You know, um, when I threw it, it was open. But he could have definitely come underneath me and, you know, hit stick that ball out. Let me know if that's a dot or not right here we're gonna go for two man just just for confidence just for momentum we're gonna go to our patent in double in sale play and uh, look what happens right here guys watch Devonte adams he low-key just stops running i thought he was gonna run to the outside and he stops running and he boom he hits me with the, the stiff arm glitch he holds a cuts inside and just like that all the momentum is kind of wiped away i'm gonna clip it and show you guys right here um my guy kind of just stopped running. I don't know what it is. I thought he was going to run to the sideline as he should every single time. You saw it in the last video, but he just ends up not doing so. It's all good. He's down by four and he gets ball now. It's right here. Allen is going to audible at the bunch tight end first play. And, you know, I just man at my guys, make some good adjustments. I actually have some all right adjustments right here. The thing I don't like is he gets out the pocket, man. He actually had that post route wide open. Nonetheless, I mean, he hits Julio up the sideline. And, you know, I had contains on the field. And my man doesn't even got to escape. And he's still able to break outside the pocket. He goes no huddle right here. And he's going to hit flood um, the running back route for a good amount of yards. And right here, whoop, hits me with a stiff arm glitch. Touchdown for CJ2K, Titans theme team. He's just too hard to tackle. Um, Allen is just, he just, he's got great stick work in the open field. I just have trouble tackling him every time. I don't know what it is or why. But, you know, just the easiest drive you'll ever see. Two play, 75 yard drive uh, right after my, you know, kind of all right drive. Third and not, third and one right here. Um, we are going to hit Moss on this left sideline. And it is close call. He could have definitely picked that off with Acrobat. But we get kind of lucky. I guess 
uh that's the first very fortunate play that's happened to either of us so far um i would gladly take that right here guys verticals and we throw a dot another close call i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of i'm kind of risky for that was a little risky of a throw but you know i guess i threw it for a reason i had seen something at that time i don't know if i'm throwing that right now um but at this time of the moment i threw it it was a dot and you know everything worked out well little trip side end tight end post zig route and a slant we have the zig route open but we actually take the slant randy moss cooks randy moss only in madden ultimate team will you ever see that happening anytime you guys see me in the red zone odds are i'm probably running the ball you know first first down right there i definitely thought i was gonna get you know more yards maybe even a touchdown he gets a shed out of nowhere once more we're calling the run again i could I, I felt like you know i just had good good room i had good room and there's just nothing there once more so we're gonna have to dial one up man and it just all comes back to the fact that you know i don't trust my red zone too much my red zone offense is a little mid um we are gonna go to four verticals right here out of gun tight slots halfback week and this is uh you know this is definitely gonna be a lucky play right here call it luck call it a dot I'm going to highball this to, you know, Randy Moss. He gets his feet in bounds. I don't know. I don't know. what. Comment what you guys think. Is that a dog? Or is that lucky? Um, I, I definitely feel like that was lucky on my end. Um, right now, the luck counter is 2-0 me. He could have Charles Woodson acrobated me on, like, that third and one. And then now we kind of ag him. Not really an ag, though. But, you know, I definitely should have maybe not caught that. But, hey, we ball. His ball, he he gets ball at half now. So we got to just take things accordingly. Play a little bit of defense. Just a little defense. Right here, running back angle route. Same type of read I just made or same type of play I just had. Those running back angle routes are very good in this year's game. It's just so hard to user them and then user the crosser coming behind it. Right here, cover one robber. Um, great defense. My pressure just didn't come in. That's really what it comes down to. Pressure didn't come in. I like that look I had right there. My three rick actually guarded the out route for just enough time for the pressure to come in the thing was the pressure never came in you see right here guys Allen has two clock on he is another clock connoisseur he is very good playing the clock um we actually play great run d right here which was great um you know just just making him know like the run ain't sweet around here you know the run ain't sweet the run and the pass is sweet that's going to be a problem but you know at least the run isn't sweet right now right here we're going to start to adjust a little bit you'll see in this game i'm going to get desperate start adjusting more and more and more third down and five we have five yard clouds on the field um actually that was stock clouds that might have been a hard flat maybe but either way he plays it very well fourth and three big fourth and three biggest play of the game so far we are going to try to send the heat right here he is going to be audible to bunch tight end and this time and moment i'm going to call a timeout my audibles were all scrambled everything was messed up my nickel corner was on the left side of the field definitely not mad about calling that timeout in the future i got to be better with that once more here he goes again audibly to the bunch tight end i'm preparing for um the corner route play he has the tight end drag open. I believe that's who he was throwing it to. He had the post open, but we get super crazy pressure. Honestly, like that was insane pressure that I got right there. There are quite a few things open right there. My adjustments were all not on point. And, you know, my user was not on point. So, you know, it is what it is. I guess you could call that defense. We'll take the lucky scream. Um, I, I feel like I, will, I always have good adjustments, but sometimes like, you know, if I'm getting quick hike getting audible the round it's just hard to you know follow your good adjustments with a good user and that's what happened to me right there um right here we're gonna just throw this ball away great defense by allen and right here once more some more great defense by allen but the thing is we have a 98 speed quarterback plus two post ups that's easy scrambles five to six yards right there we'll take it move on to the two minute warning and we've got him where we want him man um we've been playing you know all right on both sides of the ball i've definitely gotten tied up but, you know, I'm throwing more better, you know, I'm throwing plays he hasn't seen out there. At this point, you know, the best case scenario is that we go into half up 20 to 9 or even 16 to 9. You know, we will take that as well. Just don't want him to get the ball back um, and, you know, have a chance to score seven. Right here, um, he screams. He mans up everyone with great defense again. Just move on to the next play, throw the ball out of bounds. Somewhat struggles with all the time. I want to say all the time, but, you know, good amount of time we play. Um... I ran verticals. I seen Devontae Adams absolutely torch Night Train Lane. And, you know, I kept that in my mind. Like, you know, let me throw it. I don't have enough space, so I got to throw it early. And that's what I do. I throw it early. He gets it at the back end zone. So just a perfect timing dot. And, you know, we go up 20 to 9. I would like to have clocked him right there. But the thing is, it was 3rd and 9. I, I had to shoot my shot. I had a wide open touchdown, and I had to take it. Right here, we're going to start getting in our bag. Great adjustments right here. Just a 
kind of shitty user but i'm not too mad you know he had two he had two touchdowns down the field one should have not been a touchdown one was you know the streak getting open over my man coverage somehow you know man bumping and all that we all know how that is and then two was the post i decided to go use the post as anyone would have right there and you know I, I felt like i made the right decision right here terrible tackling and this is what i'm talking about i can't tackle this dude i can't tackle him for shit i had a plot flat there missed the tackle i had an extra guy there i don't know why i hit six why am i going for hit sticks hicks they don't know you don't fumble you don't fumble like it's just pointless to go for hit sticks so just pretty pretty dumb right there right here another run i mean he he's playing it smart you know he goes down to the one yard line to take some more clock and i'm just thinking like dang like this is you know he's just he's just calling some plays you know some basic plays i feel like yet they're working yet they're very efficient sometimes that's all you need you don't need the very high and complex plays just need some basic plays that you know will end up getting you a good amount of yards and that's what he's doing right now so right here guys he is trying to get into this end zone with some jimmy jumps and he's eventually going to get in um right there you know i'm not too mad about, about that because i have 23 seconds to get three potentially go up seven out of half and the thing is guys i should already be up seven i gave him a pick two on the first play of the game and you know that took away that, that made it a four point game rather rather being six point game or seven point game it's a four point game he ends up going for two now it's a three point game and watch what happens right here guys if you saw in the stream you know you know if you guys were in the stream you know what happens right here so i decide to be a little greedy get some extra yards you know that's always cool okay you know i gotta pick it up i'll take a knee bruh my thought process there went from z 100 to zero real quick i'm thinking yeah man let's go get three you know let me get my extra yards to go in you know what let's go pick it up this is a little risky to bro now i don't get any points at all and now he's gonna potentially have the lead right into half and get ball out of half so you know all that fluke you know it just went to him man that was a wild play i know better than to do than to do that you know that's on me i'll take the blame for that but at least pick the ball up right don't let him get a free seven off that game let me be able to pick the ball up just a complete and utter bruh and ea moment right here i'm almost able to get out there and i just can't i can't he scores seven right there and all of a sudden you know a game that i felt like i've been playing very very well i wouldn't say i was dominating by any means but i feel like i've been playing well i've been playing the clock i got a real stop and all of a sudden just like that he's up four points and he gets ball to half so you know after that i had to try to get three i had to try to get three we throw an absolute beam his acrobat kind of dumbs out his acrobats were playing kind of shitty for him all game and that play once more i'm thinking i can make this right i have warren anderson the 61 yarder i should be able to make this the thing is i don't get full power so i was definitely kind of just tripping out this first half I, that still should be good and it's just not so i mean just just the comp most terrible way to end the half happens i don't even get three right there to pretty much make it an even game 23 24 in this game is pretty even you know counting the two point conversions and all that type of stuff thankfully for us he is not going to be able to kick this in but guys i wasn't even thinking i was so caught up in the rage that he decides to come out and pull back dive he is almost able to fall down and be able to kick a field goal because he did have a timeout and oh my god that could have went so bad the thing is guys i came out in 3d because i was just so mad um i couldn't go off sides if i went off sides he would have gone free five yards been able to kick the field goal so i had to just pray that i you know held him up in the animation long enough or you know he wasn't able to get enough yards fast enough and that's what happened thankfully so there are there is light you know to that end of the half he could have been up seven with the ball rather than four but you know either way i'm gonna have to fight and try to get a stop again so very fast paced first half if you ask me right here user in the out route i mean bro where is the damn pressure in route is open in route's always going to beat man coverage 100 percent of the time um i'm not mad about that but what i'm mad about is he sends out five and i don't get any pressure man i need that pressure asap right here um i try to click on the left side he throws this out route and he is cooking man the no huddles got me messed up the conductors got me messed up he is cooking up dots right now he's nine of ten he's he's probably playing better than me he's probably outplaying me at this time um it should it be a four point game should it be up four no but he is definitely outplaying me right now and he audibles a bunch tight end right here i have two purples on the field just trying to make him you know work for it right here he throws a book that should have been a pick now i'm starting to feel like i'm getting cheated and i low-key am the play before half on the you know kickoff that play right there 
Um, I feel like everything's going against me, but it's all good because Night Train Lane says, I got you, Pav. Don't you even worry. Acrobat pick artist inbounds. He is inbounds right there. He gets his feet inbounds. I felt like he threw the same type of read I made earlier with a vertical wheel route on the sideline. The thing is, he didn't have enough room. So Night Train, went, Night Train Lane goes crazy. Dick Lane goes absolute batshit. And just like that, I feel like this is an even playing field, right? Even though I am down four, we're playing possessions, not score. We're playing possessions at this time. Right here, verticals for my cheese. Low ball, uh, not even a low ball. Just a nice, easy read. Um, I low-key had the seam route open, the crosser. But, you know, in the time of the moment, I'm looking for my outside reads. I'm always going to think the user's using in the middle of the field. It's right here, R1 open. Now we're cooking up. Now we're getting nice with it. Great dot, verticals, 13 to 17, 250 yards, three touchdowns. Randall Cunningham is him. Once more, guys, this is a no escape artist tourney. Escape artist is a banned ability in this tournament, as it should be banned or, you know, just glitched out with AP. In the real game itself, you know, Mutthead took it in their initiative. To, you know what? Let's just ban it. And thankfully they did. Because this is smooth Madden right now. We are not seeing any glitches. I know some of you guys want to see escape artist cheese. But this is like really comp Madden right now, if you ask me. Just two guys going back and forth, playing possessions, playing, uh, you know, good defense, good offense. A little bit of fluke in there, but, you know, it's all good. It happens. Right here, we're going to audible the trips. And, you know, there's a reason I don't do this anymore. And you'll see right here. Um, we're going to try to call the same play that we called earlier. He runs zone. And he just has the back for it, man. And we get shedded. Super shedded by Luke Keekley. He has Luke on the D-line. And you see my O-lineman was low-key tired right there. My center was on red. So, you know, when I see that, man, I'm like, all right, bro. This this drive has low-key been going on for a while. Let me start cooking up. Let me hopefully get seven right here. And he sends the heat. Look at his pressure. His pressure comes in so fast compared to mine. And we get sacked out of field goal range. So, right here, my initial thoughts are, all right, you know what? I could have had seven on this drive. Let's just get go for three. I'm going to call verticals. I'm going to throw my running back wheel route. And, you know, it's just wide open. We'll take that. We'll take, kick our three. We'll be happy with it. You know, the thing is, it's a one possession game, even if he scores seven right now. So let's kick our three and be happy with it. Play some more defense. And just when I thought things are going our way, CJ2K to the Baja. I mean, like I was hanging my in, on the stream. I was talking to my child. I'm like, bro, this dude does not do anything. And he's scoring. He runs flood. He runs the ball. He runs bunch tight end and he has a lot of points and he's good at doing all those things there's a reason he's so good man i mean i was pretty upset about that one play 75 yard touchdown cj2k to the ball hot tight end seam team just gotta move on to the next play that's really what it is gotta move on to the next play so at this time of moment guys it's looking kind of bleak right here we stay calm we stay co uh, composed and we de deliver a strike I wish I could have spun him out, but it's all good. We get down to the 13. So now we're starting to pile up the dots and pile up the yards. And I 100% should have taken my time right here, made it this, uh, you know, two minute warning. We end up throwing, not throwing, we end up getting sacked. I mean, there's Menard Pollard right there. 100% should have taken it to the quarter is what I meant. Um, should have just played with the time and just taken it to the quarter, but it's good. Because we're going to hit Tay Adams right here. Nitrin Lane. Doesn't go for a pick. I, I mean, I think that is open. Like, there's a reason he didn't go for the pick. And, wow, Tay Adams comes in clutch. He has been balling out for us so far this game. You know, he's, he went off in the first quarter, and he's starting to show up again in the second half. Um, we're going to the same play again, man. We're going to the same play again. And this time, it's just not open. It's just not open. We had to force something. And great D. So, I mean, he is up two points. But the thing is, you know, we could still get a stop. We've gone two stops so far. Hopefully, we could get a third. And right here, we're going to onside kick. Not to, So he can't clock us, you know. I'm not expecting to get this back. But guess what? The Madden special team gods come back to us. So the play before half, it comes for full circle, you know. It comes around full circle, man. We end up getting our, you know, our ball back. And potentially getting our points back right here, depending on what we do on this drive. So Madden give it. Madden take it. Shout out to RG for that saying. We are in the driver's seat now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to clock this out, guys. I don't know if I want to clock this out even um, because it might be a little too tough. There might be a couple fourth down scenarios in there. So we'll just have to take it as we go, you know, slowly but surely. It's right here. We have R1 open. Great dot. 
He dropped it. I should have possession caught it, man. You know, just like that, we go from first down and down inside the 20 to a third and 14 in our, um, you know, in our own territory. So this is low key scary, but we stand up, deliver a great strike. Uh, we don't get the first on that, unfortunately, but fourth and six, we'll take it. And right here, guys, audibly to tie it. Or excuse me, bunch tight end. I, I think about this play and I think, you know what? I don't like this. I'm, I'm going to try to audible back to tight. And then I realize I'm not going to have enough time. So I have to burn a timeout. So, you know, initially I liked the idea. I, was, I don't think I was going to call a good play. Maybe I was depending on his own drops. We will never know. But this audible to tight, I feel like, is the move. As you see right here, he is going to call a timeout now. Um, and this is just a chess match going back and forth. I think he thinks I was going to audible the bunch tight end. And he was ready for bunch tight end. But I actually end up audibly the tight. It's right here once more. Third time is the charm. We are going to be able to get our play set up. We're going to be running mesh spot. Biggest play of the game. Fourth and six. We're going to run mesh spot. Crosser Moss. In route uh, Dickerson. Just for spacing. And post route Devontae Adams. And you know who comes up big for us again? It's Tay Tay Adams. The new Raider. Shout out to my Raider Nation followers out there. He comes up huge again. I mean, he's. I should have checked the stats. He's been going berserk. Um, but, the, you know, the job's not done. We have to still get seven. And this is where we've been struggling at. That run was huge, man. We get, you know, we don't get a touchdown, but we get inside the five-yard line. Excuse me, the six-yard line. Right here, guys, he shifts his D-line. And right here, just, oh, man, that's the easiest touchdown I've had. Maybe I should call inside zone a little more often. Up five, um, you know, potentially in clocking territory. This may get a little scary, but I'm not too worried because... You know, Allen plays at such a high and fast pace um, that, you know, if he plays it slow, I feel like I will get a stop. His, his glitches and, you know, him being really good on offense comes down to, you know, his pacing, his fast pace, no huddle type of play. I feel like, you know, if he's trying to clock me, I will end up getting a stop potentially or eventually. So, you know, I'm not too worried right here. Right here, guys, once more bunch trail. We actually finally get some pressure. And he actually had the right out route wide open. I'm talking about wide open. But, you know, we had our vert hook on five. Randy Moss went crazy. Right here, a little bit of man-to-man. -man. And, bro, this flood route is this running back out route. Please, patch running back out routes. I can't stop him. I'm into Julio. And, you know, I don't want him to pick it off. I want him to be there to make a tackle for a five to ten yard gain. But instead, CJ2K, I mean, I guess it is as advertised. He's just faster than everyone on the field. This dude might have 100 speed because he's just outrunning everyone. Right here, very good defense. I want to say he was throwing a pick if he was throwing that post, but we will never know. We will just never know if he was throwing the post or if he was throwing it away. On to the next play. Right here, I'm starting a baseline press. I feel like this might give him issues as right here, we finally scream again. We're starting playing good defense, and this is what I was talking about. If I have my adjustment set up and we have an even playing field, I'm not getting no huddles every play, I feel like I can make crazy good adjustments. And here we go. I'm going to take you inside my thought process. Big down right here. I'm running cover two on the left and manning up my safeties. I guess... Ted Hendricks just glitches out because he can't get there. And there's a touchdown to Randy Moss. And like I said, I ran a cover two. He ran flood. I was ready for flood. I made up all my safeties. I crossed man Ted Hendricks to a streak. And it didn't matter, man. It just didn't matter. Ted Hendricks could not get out there fast enough. That kind of hurt me. I'm not going to lie. Um, I thought that was very good defense. But for future references, I just won't cross man him, I guess. But, you know, it's still not over. He has to convert this two-point conversion. I know the play that's coming and i can't stop it he highballs this right over my zones great highball to julio um just a great play design i mean the, it's not over yet i have two timeouts we could definitely tie this game up but we are we need seven we need seven i'm not i'm not settling for overtime once more we go back to the play that gives him so much trouble it gives him so much trouble verticals with an in route and you know everything was back but the thing was his user just wasn't guarding the crosser i don't know what or why but, you know, we will take that um, right here. Just watch the sequence right here. Streak, corner route, drag route, deep post. We step up in the pocket. We get the Gen 3 bionic arm. And we're going to fall down to the one-yard line. That's as beautiful as it gets. Rewind that if you have to. Stay calm. Stay cool. Stay composed. Step up in the pocket and throw a dot. That's what we do with Fearless. That's what we do with Randall Cunningham. Generic free release. Oh, man, that, that, was, that had me so hot. That was a great job. One of my better throws that I've had as of late. But the thing is, we, we're, we're not guaranteed, you know. He, he actually stops us for a minus one yard gain. 
But this, I'd rather have it this way, you know? I get to take it all the way to down at the last second. If I get held at three, I get held at three. It is what it is. Right here, we're gonna try to dive in here um, and we don't get in. But the thing is, I'm able to no huddle. And this is beautiful. I'll tell you why, because he's in 3-2-5 wide. This isn't necessarily known as goal line defense. He, in my opinion, I sh he should have 100% went off sides right here. We tell decide to flip it, call it to the left side. And we're in the end zone with 10 seconds left. Um, kicking this PAT is going to give us a four-point lead. Basically making him having to go down and get seven with 10 seconds left. Very unrealistic to do. He should have went off sides, popped in goal line, matched my goal line personnel. And right here, a 43 to 39 game, seven seconds left. Um, he's in some random eye form. And I don't even know what this was. He just decided to hit a random drag. I think he was trying to pitch the ball back. Ultimately, a great game once more. I mean, look at the stat lines from both of us. I had like 400, 500 yards. He had like 350 yards. Great game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that gameplay. If you did, smash that like button. Comment what you guys want to see next. I have one more Friday night football gameplay in my, you know, in this 1K run. The next gameplay I have is versus CTG, Clef the God. If we could get like 100 to 125 likes, maybe 150 likes, I got y'all with it ASAP. Till next time, guys. Hopefully, you watched the last gameplay with Noah. If you didn't, go check it out. This was me versus Alan Gibbs. Straight hell game. I'll catch you guys in the next video, which was going to be the FNF 1K Finals versus Clef the God. Till next time, guys. Stay up. Be easy. And I'll catch you guys. Peace.